All right, guys, you know him from our movie segments right here on Prime News at 7. But tonight, we're talking to documentary filmmaker Daniel Griffith about his work on 42. Daniel, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks. It's great being here. Oh, we're so glad to have you here because you get to tell us a little bit about behind the scenes. You actually worked on a time lapse yes. of them transforming Engel Stadium. Tell us about that. Well, I was approached, and that's kind of what I was hired on to do, uh, was to basically record a time lapse daily of wow. the conversion of Engel Stadium to. Ebbets Field, wow. and so uh, kind of chronicle that for gosh about a month and a half. The whole process it, it took about a month and a half. And that's a picture that you took. Yes. Where about was that? Do you remember um, where in the process? Yeah, that's probably you're looking at maybe day eight. Wow. Uh, around day eight or nine. Really uh, early on. And you can see in the background they're starting to construct the green screen, which is the second largest uh, green screen for a production ever. Constructed. Really? Yeah. Oh wow! When can we actually see this time lapse? Is it something that when um, the movie comes yeah, out? Yeah, very likely. Uh, what it was recorded for was to be included on the DVD. Probably there a part of the making of uh, extras that will be on the DVD. I'm sure that they'll probably work it in somewhere in their publicity, you know, beforehand before the film actually comes out in theaters. I hope so, because there's going to be a lot of Oscar buzz, I would imagine, oh, for this too. Well, so hopefully, yeah, you get we'll a lot of work from that. You also worked as a production stills photographer. For anyone that doesn't really know <laughs> movie work, what does that mean? Yeah, well, it's basically uh, there's still photographers for different sections of a production. There's production still photographers that are basically on, you know, on the set around the actor shooting yeah. stills. And I kind of shot everything for the most part from a distance. You're, you're seeing here, you're seeing a lot of uh, blow the ups. Yeah, yeah, they're um, <laughs> you know, kind of stand ins uh, for uh, audience members. You know, you can only have so many people, you know, fill the stands. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you kind of fill in the holes with these, uh, with these blow ups, which are not very lifelike. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> But yeah, yeah. So basically, you have the people shooting the production stills, and I shot a lot of the production slash promotional stills. What you see um, is basically a lot of the extras, a lot of the interactivity with the extras, some interactivity with the actors, uh, some of their their roles and the things that they're doing out on the field from kind of the. I guess from the extras perspective, okay. from the stadium perspective, and then there's someone out on the field that's taking the direct close-ups of the different actors and activities. You know, no one will let me leave this interview set until I ask you: Did you get the chance to take some close-up pictures of Harrison Ford and see him up close? Yeah, yeah actually, uh, the photographers and really anyone that was dealing with any type of publicity was pulled aside the day before he arrived, and were basically. Warned to do not take <laughs> photographs, and it's just because oh. you know this guy. He's basically studied this part. He got you know really deep into character, yeah. and you don't want him to break that concentration while filming uh, with someone you know pestering him with photos and getting in his way. Yeah, so, I guess that's a good reason. So, and of course, we're going to look forward to 42, and we're going to look forward to seeing your work with it. Thank you so much for oh, joining thank us. Thank you very much. And stay with us. We're going to be right back in just a minute.